After each town council meeting, the staff sits down and records a quick recap, highlighting the public meeting. The complete meeting can be found on the town of Avon, Indiana's YouTube page, but this podcast is designed to give you a simple overview to help keep you informed about what is happening. The Avon, Indiana Town Council meets twice a month at Avon Town Hall. A full schedule of their public meetings can be found online at avonindiana.gov. What's up, Town of Avon? This is Angel Gino Gino, the Marcom Specialist here at Town of Avon. I'm here today with... Ryan Cannon, Town Manager. And today we're going to be talking about the Town Council meeting that happened yesterday. I believe that was December 21st. Ryan, you want to take it away? Absolutely. Um, I think the most exciting and probably important thing on the, well, maybe not the most important, but maybe the most special thing that was actually on the agenda was uh, we had some employee recognition time. So uh, if you're really interested in lots of details on some of these employees, please go watch it on YouTube and uh, on our website and see uh, the whole meeting. But I did want to at least acknowledge uh, we did recognize Steve Eisenbarth, one of our town council members. Last night was his last meeting of the year. So uh, he's no longer going to be on the town council. So he's been on the town council for eight years. And so we appreciate his service and dedication to the town and he will be missed going into next year. After that, we recognized uh, three of our incredible police officers. Um, We had two officers, uh, Mike Whittle and Brian Nugent, who celebrated 20 years of service to the town of Avon and then our uh, deputy chief, Dave Margison, was celebrating 25 years. And for those of you not familiar with law enforcement, that is an incredible accomplishment. Uh, law enforcement is an incredibly difficult job. Uh, it's hard to find employees who are dedicated and committed and willing to provide that kind of longevity and service. Uh, so those three gentlemen are, are certainly uh, gems for the town of Avon and uh, appreciate everything they do for our residents and our citizens and so if you see um, Mike Whittle, Brian Nugent, or Dave Margison out there, please thank them for their service. And uh, they are incredible people and, a, a like I said, a, a great value to the town. Um, we did have quite a bit of uh, other business. Um, most of them weren't really big items, but uh, we did have a request to amend uh, approval for RTV, so our Parks Department actually received approval last year to purchase an RTV. If you don't know what an RTV is, they're those little orange vehicles that drive around the park. Um, Those are what our employees use to get around and do work so that they don't interrupt people trying to use the park. Um, The price came in slightly different. It was about $2,000 difference from when we originally approved it, just based on uh, how long it took for the shipping to get to us. So Uh, We had to get approval for that for an additional $2,000, and the town council did approve that. Under new business, we, uh, anytime someone is interested in being annexed, the town council actually has to accept the annexation petition, and that begins the process of annexation. And so uh, they did accept a petition from Pasari LLC uh, to annex. It's about a one-acre parcel, and it's just west of the town hall. Uh, It will actually be part of the new Easton Gray um, which is going to have a Riverwalk district, which is going to have the town center and the future government center. Um, so that will become a part of that development. And so the town council did pass and approve uh, accepting the annexation petition for that. Uh, the next item was uh, our planning director, uh, Bill Peoples, um, presented a uh, consultant selection recommendation to the town council. Uh, the town is going to up- update our comprehensive plan Uh, The comprehensive plan is kind of the overarching goal and vision for the entire town of Avon. So it's a very important document. And so uh, we go through what's called a qualification-based selection process uh, to select who's going to do that work. Uh, We received four proposals, and then we shortlisted and interviewed two. And in the end, the selection committee recommended that we select uh, HWC or Hanum, Wegel, and Klein uh, to do that work for us. So Uh, The town council did approve that recommendation, and we will now actually work with them to develop a scope and a fee for that project, and then it will come to the town council probably sometime in January for uh, final approval of that contract. So uh, we'll begin work on that. So if you guys are interested in 
giving feedback on our comprehensive plan. Please look for that information coming out uh, next year. Uh, the next thing the is a resolution in the town council uh, authorize a transfer of uh, funds to the rainy day fund. Uh, the town's financial advisor has recommended that we try to save some of our unspent budget. And so uh, what that means is the town council actually has to just pass a resolution saying um, any unspent money that can be transferred into our rainy day fund. And the rainy day fund is just money that's there in case the town needs it in emergency. And so it's it's important to our bonding, but it's also important to uh, be able to show that we're being fiscally sound and that the town is in good financial shape and that we're prepared for any kind of emergencies that may happen in the future. So uh, that resolution was also approved by the town council. And then to wrap up the meeting, we had a few ordinances uh, the first one was the end of year reappropriation. Uh, the town council needs to do this every year. It's put together by the clerk treasurer. And um, basically, if we have to move money around in different account lines for our accounting to make sure that uh, it's all appropriate, that all has to be done and approved by the town council. So this end of year reappropriation ordinance does that. And the town council did approve that. Uh, the next ordinance was amending internal controls to adopt segregation of duties policy. This is a fancy way of saying anytime we get federal funds, we want two employees to be able to touch uh, that expenditure or that if someone's doing the expenditure, that someone else is touching the revenue. And in government, we call that kind of internal controls, and that's to make sure that there's no fraud or stealing or that anything happens. And the way we do that is making sure at a minimum that Two different people touch that. So this is a, our attorneys recommended we have this policy, and uh, that just assures that we have good operating practices here at the town hall. Um, two other ones, we did have unified development ordinance updates. Again, uh, planning director uh, Bill Peoples presented uh, several changes and cleanups to our unified development ordinance. For those of you who don't know what a unified development ordinance is, that is um, our ordinance that regulates the development of uh, everything in our community, commercial, industrial, residential, uh, basically lays out the guidelines on what we expect development to do. And so it is a very important document. And uh, Bill Peoples and uh, Ian Loera, our senior planner, have worked really hard and made some amendments. Uh, there's quite a few of them, so I won't go through all of them, uh, but all of them help improve what our ordinance is and should help uh, create better development in the town of Avon. So that was a great effort on their part, and it was adopted by the town council. Uh, the last one is, and I've talked about this, I think, in a previous podcast, a PUD amendment for Avon Landing. Avon Landing is an industrial development that's north of Kenny Road 200 North on Ronald Reagan Parkway. Right now, it currently has a 300,000-square-foot building, uh, on the west side of Ronald Reagan Parkway. They are building some apartments on the east side of Ronald Reagan Parkway. Uh, but the developer would like to do uh, a Section 2, and as part of that Section 2, uh, they've been working with somebody who's interested in doing a build to suit. So you may say, what does that mean to me? A build to suit means we actually have a tenant. Most of the time when uh, industrial buildings are built, they're built as speculative buildings or spec buildings, which means they build the building and then they hope to find a tenant. So uh, build the suit tenants are hard to find. So when we have the opportunity to get them, that's something we know that the community can get. And in particular, on a lot of these build the suit projects, they're excellent projects and projects that uh, communities are competing for. And so in order for us to comply with this, they had to put a slight amendment into the PUD which would allow buildings up to 850,000 square feet. Uh, the previous zoning required it to, own, all the buildings had to be less than 400,000 square feet. So the developer was planning to put two 400,000 square feet buildings in. Instead, they're asking for permission to, if they can get this build to suit, to put in up to an 850,000 square foot building. So basically the same amount of space, but... Um, Again, it would this would typically lead to a, a better uh, product and a better development if if we do get the build to suit. If the build to suit doesn't come, then they have to go back and build two four hundred thousand square foot buildings. So uh, the town council did approve that uh, rezoning, and so that now goes into effect. Awesome. And that was it. 
Thank you, Ryan, for that quick rundown. When is the next town council meeting? Yes, we're done for the year. Last night yep. was our last meeting of the year, so everyone gets to enjoy some time off now. Um, our next meeting will be January 11th, and this is we'll do our board and commission appointments. And so if there's anybody out there who's interested in our boards and commissions, please get those applications in. You can go to our website and fill out an application. Uh, we've got quite a few already, but we're always looking for more people who are willing to contribute to the town. So uh, please get those to us, and we'd, we'd love to fill all our boards and commissions with great people. I uh, just wanted to shout out a huge congratulations to uh, the men that ma- men and women, that, men and women, wow, can't talk, that make up our police department. Congratulations to Brian, uh, Dave, and Mike. I won't get your. I won't say the last names because I don't want to mess them up. Ryan <laughs> yeah, I already Cannon. did that. I did that already <laughs> last night. But congratulations on a huge milestone and good luck to um, future endeavors to uh, Steve and also Bill Peoples. It's yeah. sad to see them go, but um, we wish them best on to bigger, better things. Right? Absolutely. So, um. All right, couple of reminders. The tree drop off is happening on December 26, 2023 to January 31st, 2024. Um, this is in Avon Town Hall Park from 8 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. Um, please only bring bare and live trees, no ornaments, lights, or tinsels. And then for those who signed up for Bling Binglo, wow, I really can't talk today. It starts on Saturday, January 20th. Um, at Avon Parkside Church, doors open at 5.30, and bingo will start at 6 p.m. Um, all right. I think we're good, Ryan. Um, can awesome. you give us a New Year resolution that you would want to try out in 2024? Oh, it's the oh, age-old... <laughs> I, it doesn't everybody need to lose weight? Isn't that always yes, the best that, one? So that I, I'm is gonna, what... I'll, I'll go with that. That I hope that I can lose some weight <laughs> for next year. I think we be should be more all, active. We should all take like a like a jog during lunch. Especially uh, we have had so many cookies and desserts and people who drop off <laughs> nice stuff here at the town hall that it's been pretty disgusting all of We're, December. Yes, so we are super grateful, but please. Drop off some salad or some veggies. We'd appreciate that. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Town of Avon, um, have a merry, happy holiday. Wow, that was a new one. Yeah. Merry, happy holiday. And um, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Yep, we'll see you next year. Don't forget to smile. Bye.